This conference will now be this conference will now be recorded. Yeah, let's understand the available Fury apps for budget planning in project system. Okay. Here, if you are aware about the functionality of budget planning in project system, you might be aware about how we can plan the original budget in the project and how we can display the original budget how we can supplement the budget in the project okay and how we can return the budget how we can transfer the budget so these are some generic these are some some normal transaction which we are doing in the project system side so first coming before coming to here in the fury apps to understand these different apps available in sap as for hana let's understand what transactions we are having here in project system the budget side Okay, so if you uh, want to see the budget, uh, the, the, the transaction code, you need to log in into GUI. Okay, and here in GUI, you can see, uh, let me go in the first screen here. This is my first screen. So here you can see SAP menu. Okay, you click on SAP menu, go to accounting, go to project system. Okay, here in the project system, in the in financials, go here budgeting. So you will see all the available transaction code to execute transactions here, okay? So original budget. So when you are planning the budget for your project, so you need to plan the budget, okay? Here in the particular transaction. So if you see here in my this transaction code, this change it is coming, it's not showing me transaction code. So let me get here first the transaction code. So to see that you need to go here in, extra go to settings and then go to display technical names now you can see the transaction code also so let's open that folder again go to accounting go to project system go to budgets uh, go to financials and now go to budgeting here go to original budget so this is my transactions which is showing in front of this description change or display so cj30 is to change budget means if you want to plan your original budget in that case you need to execute this transaction cj30 same way if you want to display the planned budget you need to execute the transaction cj31 okay so the same transaction you can execute through fury app also okay so here sap has given some apps okay which you can Executed for that. So first, let us understand this CJ30 how it looks. You just click here on CJ30. This is your project definition which you can enter here, and uh, you just enter the project definition and press enter. Okay. So here you can see this is screen to plan the budget. Okay. Here period is overall, so you can plan your budget uh, year wise or overall for the total up, and uh, you can see here. The currency the controlling area currency or object currency so you can select that here this is the place where you can see the wbs structure okay so if you are not able to see the wbs descriptions here you just need to do some settings go to settings here and go to display option and go to using descriptions so here in place of Transit in place of WBS code, now it will start to show you the descriptions. Here you can enter the values. Okay. So this is my uh, GUA transactions. And if you would like to access the same GUA transaction through Fury apps, okay, let us see what are the apps are available here. Okay, just let me come out from this transaction. Now go to Fury app. You access the Fury. Okay, and here you will see one one folder called budget and within that you will see the different app available okay so here in the edit or edit original budget this is the transaction which is exactly resembling the cj30 so if you want to execute it through your app you just click here and here system is asking for the controlling area so my controlling area is triple one and you can save this value for your future use save as user parameter and then you come here now this is exactly like how i was executing cj30 there is no difference only this transaction is designed in html and taken as a landing place here in my fury 
apps uh, please okay so this 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 particular transaction is designed in designed in html okay it's not uh, designed in ui5 okay so here enter the project definition that is a key hyphen two zero two and press enter now it's exactly the same how i was executing just few differences here like in in look and feel uh, apart from that it's it's the same so here this these are uh, these are my wbs element and if you want to see the description of all you just need to go here in the more and go to settings go to display options and here you need to select using description and now you can enter the values here so here the 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 period for which you are doing the budget planning okay you can do year wise as per the setting in the system as per this this profile setting in in system you can plan the values for years and you can plan the values for overall also okay so this is how we can see exactly the cj30 how it is resembled here in in fury app and if you want to see if you want to display the values you can use another uh, app this is a display original budget you click here and just you need to enter your project number here okay a triple zero two and press enter because there is no value planned there so that's why i can't see otherwise it will show you the complete values there the next transaction is budget post budget supplement okay so this edit original budget is cj30 display original budget is a cj31 transaction and post budget supplement to project okay so if you click here it will show you this is a document date on which you are posting this and this in which year you are you are posting your you are supplementing the budget okay if you want to supplement this budget in overall value also you need to select this option and enter the text why you are adding why you are supplementing this budget okay so this transaction basically is a uh, is cj36 so if you come here go to cj30 okay let us see this transaction cj36 two project okay cj36 is the transaction which is being used to supplement budget to project okay you click here and you enter the receiving year let's see if it is 2022 i would like to select overall also text name i'm saying if you can if you you can maintain your text standard text in the system so that it will help you to just um uh, find out your your supplemented budget or based on that you can just you can filter filter the uh, the values okay so let's say i'm just entering free text here it is a it is supplement budget for additional work so here it is giving me option to enter the receiver wbs elements so here i can enter the wbs element from the different projects okay and here i can enter the amount and this is the currency okay and this total amount will be added in a year and plus it will be added into my overall values also okay once i'm saving it one uh, budget document will be created and that will be a reference document and here if you see the in project transaction cj 37 here you just need to enter the project definition press enter so here in cj 37 it is showing only one project so what is the difference between cj 36 and cj 37 here in cj 36 you are having option to select to enter wbs elements from the different projects and you can enter the respective amount which you want to supplement in that particular wbs element but in cj37 this is supplement in project means for a same project in different wbs element you can use this transaction okay so this is the difference sometimes interviewer are asking that what is the difference between cj36 and cj37 so both the transactions are being used to supplement the budget but in cj36 we are having option to select to, to to keep the wbs element from the different projects and we can enter the respective supplement amount so that once we are saving the value will be added well value will be supplemented in different wbs elements of the different projects but here in cj37 this is for the same project so you will get a chance to supplement the budget in different wbs element of the same project okay so how you can see it here so here if you are coming in sap fury side that what are the 
different apps we are having here so let us see this this is one of app which we are calling post supplement project okay and uh, yes you just click here let us see what are the options we are having here you need to enter here document date and this is a receiving year so 2022 i'm seeing and then overall values and here it's a additional press enter so here it's a it's a it's, it's a just a copy of cj36 okay we are having option to enter the wbs element receiver wbs element for which we are going to supplement the budget okay so this is the options we are having uh, apart from that sap has given uh, option the, the another app to use for post budget return from project so if you want to return the project return 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 the budget from the projects you can use this transaction so if you see here in uh in gui side what is the transactions here for the return so here we are having cj35 and cj38 so cj35 if you want to return the budget from the from the wbs element of different projects so let's say if you are running uh, 100 projects okay and you just want to return the budget from all these 100 projects from the different wbs element so first request has to be sent from the project manager to the finance department to return this budget and then it, it has to be approved and it will go to the French department and French department will execute these transactions for the multiple project. EJ38, this is the transaction if you want to return the budget from the same project from multiple WBS element. Okay. So the same is this app here. You can use it for post returns. Okay. The next is CJ34. So if you want to transfer the budget from one WBS element to another WBS element, you can use use a CJ34 okay so here also let us see what options we are having here uh edit budget return yeah this is the transaction to edit the budget return okay that is for cj38 and uh, uh, budget release transfer project to budget yeah this is the cj34 okay so we can use these different uh different apps so what benefit we are getting to have all these apps here in the in my fury uh see this is very easy to access okay that is the first thing second thing like all the transactions are having in the same landing page no need to remember the transaction code and all okay it's user interactive this is easy to access so that are that are some primary advantages apart from that yes we are having some technical advantage that is the other part okay so i'll bring some more details on these topics in my next uh, next session okay and till then just go through of all these apps you just do hands-on from both the side from the from the gui side and from the app side if you are executing if you are practicing from the gui side it will help you to understand the basics okay because sometimes in some of transactions we don't have that much of details in the fury side okay so it's just always recommended to understand the gui side okay and uh, so that you can understand whatever the additional uh, functionality they may ask that the business may ask to add into your fury side also okay so till then just go through of it thank you and uh, this is just one initiative okay and uh, uh, if you want to have some more tutorials in the same way i'll just uh, uh, just just like it okay and just subscribe my channel also so it will help you to just get some more more detail of sap tutorials Thank you.